Okay, so it's a little overdue, but we have our July pickups that we wanted to go through. Uh, we didn't have much time to do this video throughout the first half of uh, August, so you're getting We're it towards it the end now. of August. <laughs> and Lincoln's hanging but out. Lincoln's hanging out because his curiosity, his it doesn't self. kill the cat, but it gets him involved in a Sprite Lovers video. So. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we have a bunch of things. Like our last uh, pickups video, we are doing the new format where we're not going to go over every single thing. We're going to show everything and then talk about a few things. So Yeah, mixes things up. Yeah. So. <laughs> makes it a little easier to watch, so you're not sitting glued to the screen for 45 minutes. We'd like that, but we, we want to spare you that. So, yeah, so stay so. tuned and... Uh, you can see Keep what we watching. got in the month of July. So I wanted to show off uh, this one game that I got because I kind of, it was given to me and I'd seen it before, didn't think anything of it and um, my buddy Pat gave it to me and said, oh yeah, check this game out, uh, it's it's actually a pretty good, decent game. So uh, the game itself is called Darkstone, that's on PlayStation 1, and what it is, is a Diablo style dungeon crawler RPG. and. It's pretty standard, but it's actually very solid. Like it's it's very well made. The graphics for PlayStation One are very good, and uh, you know it's pretty good atmosphere. The too. Atmosphere, just walking music. around, yeah. And what well, there was like a little. Uh, I mean, it didn't sound exact, but there was like a little uh, band that was playing with like a, a lute, and there was a singer. Singer, yeah, in the and town. Stuff, and everything. In the town, yeah. And he walked up to it, and there was music that would start playing. And, Sort of, kind of, one of the time period, yeah. but it was, was also cool. like drums playing, but there was no yeah, there was no drums, drummer there. But, but it was cool. Anyway, it was it just was a neat little time. atmosphere, and I played. I leveled up my character quite a bit in the little time I played. I haven't finished it, but uh, it's a really cool game. And you see this a lot. You see this. I've seen this at every game store probably, yeah. and I never gave it a second look. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Probably not a great it's game. Everywhere, so you think? And yeah. I think it goes between like. One dollar and ten dollars, depending on the store. So uh, I think it's worth either. So yeah. if you can find it, definitely check it out. It's a very cool game. July as far as games. I got more other trinkets and stuff, which I'll show you in a sec. But um, one of the games I did get, uh, actually he found it. This was a game I was looking for um, because I got the original one on GameCube. Um, he found it really cheap for me in what, like Toys R Us? Toys R Us, yeah. Um, and it's Chibi Robo Park Patrol. I played through this in probably like two, couple weeks. Yeah, a couple yeah, weeks. Playing for um, weeks very too. cute, very charming, pretty much like are in charge of cleaning up this one park, um, stopping the evil uh, little smoglings and things, and there's a there's a bigger bad guy in it um, that you defeat later on. But uh, just very cute. Plays very charming. Very, yeah, it plays a lot like the other one. Um, Which we got at the flea market on that one video yes, we did. So yes. We got so, the sequel. <laughs> um, more very, very yeah. happy, very happy to play this. Very cute, awesome little game. Um, you know, simple, not a whole lot to it, um, a little repetitive, but it wasn't, like, in a bad way. I really liked it, um, it made me very happy. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's TV and Robo, the funny so thing cute. about it, we got it at Toys R Us, and it had a big gray oh, yeah. sticker on it, I'm like, what's this crap? I took it off, and it's covering up an only at Walmart <laughs> label yeah. on it, so, or not label, it's on the artwork, <laughs> so, we thought that was pretty funny, because it was at Toys R Us, and I'm like, oh, Walmart really? <laughs> so, so cool game. Pretty, uh, pretty fun find, very happy I have that now. This other game I found at a store called Sound Go Round down in Binghamton. Uh, I was down there for some business and I 
We made a stop there while I was down there, and I really like this place. It's a record store slash DVD store slash game store, but their game selection seems to get better and better each time. I actually found that Bomberman Land Touch game for DS that you'll see in this video. Uh, I got that there, and I, I, that game is super hard to find. It's uh, an Atlas Bomberman game for DS. Um, and then the, I got this game as well when I was there. And this game is becoming more and more uncommon, and I wanted to talk about it a little bit because it's a really cool game. Megan and I both saw it a couple years ago when we rented it from Gamefly, and it's called Deadly Creatures, and uh, it was complete, it was really cheap at Sun Goron, um, and I, I mean, it's it pops up here and there at a GameStop or two, but uh, pretty, getting pretty uncommon. Not super expensive yet, but it's just, it's just hard to find. You don't see it. Um, and what it is, is it's kind of like, it plays, I'd say, very similar to like a God of War, in that you kind of hack and slash at enemies, and there's some com light combos, and you can learn new abilities, only you play as a tarantula and a scorpion. And they each have their own unique abilities that one has that the other one doesn't have. So you're, the storyline is going between these two characters. But what's cool about the game is that you play these deadly creatures and you fight bosses like rattlesnakes and stuff, but in the background, behind where the levels that you're uh, doing, like, you know, you're down in, like, trenches and stuff in the desert there's humans with like a separate storyline going on in the background that has like greed and uh, betrayal and stuff and actually they got billy bob thornton and dennis hopper the late dennis hopper uh yeah. to do voice acting in this so it's pretty cool they got some big name uh actors to do the background characters and there's one part where in the beginning where there's like a crash dirt bike that you're kind of crawling under as the spider and uh it's its tire is slowly spinning, and when you first come upon it, you hear them talking about it. They're like, you know, oh, this looks like somebody crashed into this ravine, and, you know, I wonder if they made it out alive, or something like that. And it's just cool, because that storyline is going on, even though it's technically unrelated to you, at least as far as I've played in the game. Um, but it's just really cool, a really neat parallel the way they played it. So, not many people know about this game, so I wanted to talk about it, because it's really cool. If you find it, it's probably cheap. Pick it up. It's very fun. It plays, like, any decently made hack and slash with a good combat system. So check it out, pretty cool. Yeah. All right, the next couple of things I got, um, uh, video game related, but not games themselves. Uh, very cool, kind of unique items um, that were gifted to me. Um, which, first one is a Kirby Triple Deluxe display. I love Kirby, one of my favorite <laughs> yes. game series. Um, so I, I saw this in, in one of the stores and I really wanted it. Um, I remember when you first saw it, it was at a GameStop when the game first came out or before it came out. Yeah. She saw it and she's like, look at that display, it's so cool. Yeah, it's, it's the, so awesome. Little floating guys being sucked in and everything. So, you guys so and really cool um, uh, box. And so it's just, it's cool. very cool, yeah. So I'm very, very happy to get this. Um, and thank you again to, you know, my friend who who got this for me, I really appreciate it because unfortunately these do sell on eBay for quite a bit, which I, I can't fork out. Um, I'm not looking to resell this. This is just for yeah, me. Yeah, we just think it's cool. Um, because I love Kirby and it's awesome. Uh, the second thing, sort of related, I got from the same individual. Um, this is really cool too. Is this item is becoming sort of rare? I guess it was I th I think a pre-order item. Something. Um, mm -hmm. for Link Between Worlds. I don't know if it was for GameStop or. Yeah, I think they. I know in yeah, Europe they had these start. for I think, yeah. anyone. I guess. Um, but I don't know how they over here how they just. But them. I was fortunate enough to get one of these, and it's a uh, 3DS uh, game holder. Yeah, it's like five or so. It's a uh, Zelda Treasure Trap. The tra treasure chest can't talk right now um but the cool thing about this if you haven't seen one of these and maybe this will pick it up on camera um <laughs> does so, the jingle. it does the jingle every time you open it i'll do it again because it's just that awesome um and it holds about like six games yeah, five or six cool. games so it's pretty cool i'll probably never use it um it's whole games it keeps going oh, no. um 
but uh, it's very cool to have. And again, not for not for resale. Um, this is something that's mine to go along with my ever-growing collection Zelda of collection. Zelda stuff. Um, which, if anyone has any Zelda stuff that they don't want, whether it's displays or things like this or games, <laughs> games, whatever, I will always take. Um, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> very cool. So the next thing I got, uh, I wanted to talk about this because I'm not a big sports fan. I like some of the old classic sports, sports. games. Um, I like uh, Mutant League Hockey, Mutant League Football, <laughs> NBA Jam, kind of the more arcadey sports games. Both of us are, are neither into sports. No, Sorry not into to sports our, our friends, life. family, Sorry. you know, viewers who are, are very much into sports. Just not my thing. We're not. I don't hate but. them, but I'm just not into them. But my boss knows I'm into games, unfortunately, I have to say, because <laughs> she'll always point out, oh, Nate's our resident gamer. But um, She's warm enough to it, though. She's, she's, she's understanding why she's we did the hobby and stuff. <laughs> and uh, she saw this at a convention that she was at for uh, our, our work, actually. And um, there was a promotional tie-in coming up. So she saw this, and she thought, oh, Nate's a gamer. I'll get this for him. And even though I'm not big into sports, this is really cool. It's an EA Sports hat. And uh, that's cool enough as they're, it's in the game slogan, which is very classic for me, even though I didn't play a lot of sports games. I Back in the Genesis, they used to have that logo, EA Sports, to the game. So, <laughs> so I, I always remember that. And what's really cool about this is, well, it's a really quality hat. Um, I don't like wearing the flat brim hats. I, if I was Why to wear not? this... Look at I, Look at how uh, awesome and classy looking... Yeah. Things are. But if you look, <laughs> and Megan probably spoiled the view on. <laughs> this is okay. Uh, the uh, bottom of the brim has these cool. Uh, it's like the play uh, sketches or whatever they're called for, that the coach would put on uh, before doing a play. So sports, it's just really cool sporting. seeing that on there for sportsing. Yeah. Sporting. <laughs> um, that's, that's how much vocabulary we know. But uh, really cool. Um, probably won't wear it or anything just because I don't really wear hats too much anymore. Um, cool. But. The fact that she thought of that, and, and it's gaming related, and it's really cool. I mean, I don't know where if they sell yeah. these or not, but the fact that she got it, it was pretty cool. And it's That's like I said, cool. it's really quality. Seems, uh, you know, a, a good brand and uh, in very good condition. So yeah. definitely going to hang out of that. All right, so the next couple of things I got, um, and then we'll be finishing out this video. Uh, again, not games. Oh, well, sort of a game. Um, yeah. But gaming related. Um, video game and these I bought that. from my uh, buddy James McKay. Um, so first thing, I'm, I'm going to save the, the best for last. They're both really <laughs> cool. But the um, next thing I got, now I'm not a huge Monopoly fan, but I am a huge Pokemon fan. Um, and he had this in his store, which is Pokemon Monopoly. Yes. Um, complete. Collector's edition. Collector's edition. Uh, complete with... Um, I'll hold it carefully. Yeah, because I don't want everything to fall. But all the parts. Instructions, money. cards, uh, money, even all the Professor little um, cards. game pieces, which I think he said, like, these, when they're sold separately, I think go for quite a bit. Um, but he was he was kind enough to leave those in there, yep, so that was complete. Um, in great condition. I mean, it, it definitely has been opened before and probably played, but it everything looks there. Yeah, it's all there. Yeah, he um, said all the pieces were there, and uh, yeah, it looks so like they're all accounted for. This is so. very, very cool, and it just features the original um, 150 Pokemon, which to me are the best ones. Um, like the newer ones, but the hundred, first 150 are always going to be One of the, classics. the classic and have a special Definitely. place in my heart. But so. the little game pieces are really cute. They're really, really cool. Let me see if um, I can pull them up a little closer. They're just so small and cutesy. Yeah, and, they're uh, adorable. Yeah, they're, they're, that's like the best part. They're <laughs> fully painted, babies. too. They're not. Most Monopoly pieces are usually like metal, yeah. one color. Like, these ones are like brass or rubbery copper over plastic, there. but they're still but they're full detail, very, so. very good detail. So very, very cool to have this. Um, like that, I'm sure I will play it at some point. Just um, great to have, though. But it's just very cool to have because why not? You know, it's Pokemon Monopoly. Yeah. So um, the next thing and the last thing I got um, is very, very uh, special to me. And I got this at a great price. 
Um, I had, well, I might still have the figure somewhere. Loose. Loose, but it's missing pieces. Um, I got this in 1998, 1999, around that time, yep. at Navy Games. Um, I was lucky enough to come across another one of these at James Store, and he, like I said, he sold it to me for a really good price. And that is the Ocarina of Time, uh, it's collectible action figures, blah, yep. blah, blah. But from the original, from Ocarina, the original of Ocarina of Time. So, you know, the box is in pretty... It's a few dents and stuff, but it's... Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's sealed. complete and it's sealed. And, you know, I'm not one of these people that likes to keep things sealed in, in packages, but... You know, at least Sometimes. I know this is complete, and, and it's so awesome to have this. And what's even more cool about this figure is that there's an EV game sticker, like, still on it, and I don't know if the camera's going to focus, but it says six ninety nine, which is, I think, sounds about right. It's probably the original well, price, maybe, yeah. you know, when I bought it, and damned, if I would have known these would get so damn hard to find or mm -hmm. be so expensive, I probably would have bought all of them in the series. I had a Ganon, too, that I stupidly lost, or maybe I donated it and some little kid somewhere is playing with yeah, it. Yeah, and then but, we do have a little three figure set still from that same time period. Yes. But they're um, loose. So But I yeah, I opened the box to them too because I'm yeah. stupid. So mm -hmm. I need to learn to keep these things in boxes. Mm -hmm. But this guy I'm keeping in box and I'm I'm so happy. Yeah we still have the loose one without he might be like missing a piece or something. But he's missing I, I believe he's missing the shield and yeah. master sword. Um but this this is just so awesome. Childhood came back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a big kid at heart. So I'm I'm very happy. Um of course Anything Legend of Zelda. Always cool. Um, <laughs> very, very happy to have. So thank you, James, for holding yes. on to this for me and hooking me up with that. So I think that's it. That's yeah, all that's I got. Our, um, that's our pickup video. Uh, you saw the other stuff we got. There's a lot more stuff we could have talked about. Da -da -da -da. But, I'm going to play uh, it one more time. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, uh, but, yeah, you'll see the other stuff we got in there. I could have talked about a lot of the other ones because there were some cool uh, pickups we got in there. But we'll, uh, yeah. you know, feel free to write in the comment section on any of the games that you saw that you may have played or if you have any questions on something that you know, went yeah. by pretty fast, we wouldn't mind describing them a Definitely. little more in detail. Definitely. Um, um, any other feedback you can provide us is always welcome. Um, we've been doing this about a year. Um, thank you, as always, to those who have watched throughout the year and Definitely. also for being so patient for our too many games video. Oh, that was uh, some technical difficulties yes. and all that. So we're happy to finally have that up. Um, also, too, and we're going to keep talking about this until November, Retro Game Con, um, yes. November 8th. Yep. At Syracuse, the, New York, the On, on Center. Center. Um, five bucks to get in. It's an all-day event. This year, it's going to be one day. We're hoping maybe other years get we'll it to two. To two yep. um, but this year, we're going to have Angry Video Game Nerd there. Um, we're looking to get... Uh, yeah, a couple Crimson other. 42. Crimson 42 said um, he was going to show up so better. So hold me to it, buddy. Um, but uh, and then you know, there's going to be vendors and yeah, artists, <clears throat> um, and <laughs> uh, just tons artists. of fun stuff. Cosplay, street pass, cafe, uh, lots of fun stuff. Uh, angry video. So just tons of stuff. We're going to do a panel. <laughs> Super exciting. So, so yeah, Super it's exciting. it's a lot of fun if you're anywhere or, or willing to travel to uh, Central New York. It's it's going to be huge. Uh, it's last year was the first year the event was yeah. put on, and it's uh, it's, it's going to be even bigger, be better bigger this, year. this year. So um, we're looking we're forward to seeing you there. We're also going to have um, swag bags, which mm -hmm. we'll we'll be talking about um, soon, as well as the website and Facebook. We'll we'll go into more detail about that. Um, but Retro Game Con 2014, yep. we're going to start. You know, talking about talking it. Talking about it, you'll get, you'll get sick of hearing about it, but we hope to see you there. So. Yeah, it's never too early. So. Yeah. All right, so that's pretty much it. So until next time, thanks for watching, and we will see you later.